y'all? It's your man Jay Cleasy from paswag.com. And Dave Brixis from Explosive Sports Performance. All right, and welcome to our new high school program geared to the high school athletes called The Program. Uh, every week, me and uh, Dave will be here, you know, talking about high school sports and also uh, youth, uh, youth football as well. So uh, let's get into it. It's the first week of uh, fo high school football here in uh, Central PA. Uh, it's a lot of, lot of, actually a whole lot of good games on tap. Uh, me and DB here are going to talk about some of the, uh, a couple of the big games that me and him will be attending this week. Yeah, one of the big games that uh, is on the slate is Manheim Township for Central Dolphin. You got the defending quad A uh, state champs coming in riding high. Um, in some polls, are ranked nationally uh, as high as 18. I think ESPN has them up all the way at the 18s. And you got Manheim Township. We've got a brand new coach, a very motivated coach who came from over from Elko. I know very well. Mark Evans, who really wants to put a staple. This would be a huge win um, for him to get himself started on the right foot going into uh, with this new program that he's at. One of the other big things is Central Dolphin has to travel down to Manheim Township. This isn't in Central Dolphin's backyard. Um, they're going to have a bullseye all year. Every single game this team plays, they're going to be marked. Every single time. Everybody wants to knock this team off. And Manheim Township um, has some of the weapons that can at least give them a game. I mean, you look over the last two years that these two teams played, uh, the first time down at Manheim Township, they gave them all they could handle. Uh, Manheim Township played very well. And you look at last year at Central Dolphin. Manheim Township was in that game all the way. Um, Central Dolphin really had to pull it out there at the end. Now, understandable, it was early on in the season. They didn't have Brandon Levere, their starting quarterback, who they will have for this upcoming game. But in the same respect, they gave them a game. And I think you're going to see the same kind of stuff happen Coming up in this game, especially with Mark Evans behind the helm, he's a tough guy. He really uh, demands a lot of his players. He demands a lot out of them. So you're going to see them come and play all the way to the end. So it's not going to be just one of these flash in the, uh, pants type shows. They're going to come out and then try to, you know, go up on your early. This team will stay with you as long as they can, as long as they have to, and hopefully squeak something out. And if they can do it, guess what? They put, they put a staple on their program. They're definitely going to put their mark. And that's what they want to do. But Central Dolphin definitely has the weapons, let's be honest. You got Zade, you got Drew Scales, you got Brandon. The one quick, yeah, I mean, these guys definitely have been there before, so they know the big games. They played in big game, game after game, all the way to the state. I mean, that North Allegheny game, who could ask for anything more? Right, yes, right. And yes. And of course, on Saturday, Harrisburg City Championship between yes. Mr. McDevitt, of course, the Harrisburg Cougars. I probably don't need to say anything more, <laughs> but. Uh, of course, McDevitt has beaten Harrisburg at least the last four or five different, four or five times they've played. So now, you know, talking about each team, with McDevitt, of course, you have all world wide receiver Brian Lamel. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Plenty of BCS offers. Yes. Uh, best receiver. Definitely top one, two, or three in the state. Yes. Probably top two in the state. Yes. Um, you have uh, Alec Werner. He was in his first yes. year, you know, coming out last year. That was his breakout year as well. Uh, threw for a ton of yardage. A uh, little underrated on yeah. the recruiting uh, yeah. side of things, but um, having them two weapons. Um, also, they have uh, actually an incredible backfield. Yeah, might be the incredible. best I've seen in a long time. Uh, Andy Robinson, Mishara yes. Lawson, uh, Darnell Holland. I mean, it's like pick your poison. Yes. Speed guy, power guy, um, and, you know, just a mixture yes. of talent. You got the Harrisburg Cougars, you know, you got the return quarterback, Kyle Cook. Yep. Um, he was a little injured last year, so he did miss some games, but... Um, he's improved over the summer. Also, they have some very talented wideouts. They have uh, Marcel Brown. Yep. I got to see Underrated. him Underrated. Yep. Under he might be one of the better ones, definitely in the area. And also, they uh, don't run it back by committee. Uh, Dominic Sherns, I've been told about uh, Rob Martin. He transferred from okay. Stillwater. Yep. Yep. That's another name to watch out for. Yep. And on the uh, defense, defensive side of the ball, um, they do have new linemen, some yes. new linebackers, but they have some of their defensive backfield coming. Kyle Martin is a pretty yep. good safety as well. So. Yeah, and I think one of the other interesting facts is, you know, this is the last year McDevitt's going to be, I know the game's at Harrisburg, but this is the last year McDevitt's going to be down the road from them. So they're going to be walking down like they've done for year after year after the tradition of the team walking down Marcus Street to get to the game. This is it. Um, no more walking down the street to get to these games. So I think there's a little bit of um, hype going on there as well. I mean, you, you definitely got to play into it and say, hey, we don't want to lose. This is the last time we're going to be walking from here on out. 
you're taking, you're hopping in the bus and you're going out to McDevitt out there. It's not um, the same yeah, it's going to be a little different, I think, after this uh, this game. So they want to, either team wants to come out champion. And Harrisburg has a lot to prove. You know, going one and nine, um, that's not typical Harrisburg. Um, so it's going to be definitely interesting to see what they bring out. I know they've had some great scrimmages, and you know, take scrimmages for what you want. You know, certain guys don't play, certain you don't throw out this play, that play. But still, I mean, they went in and played an Archbishop Wood team who, in my opinion, might have been the best team in the state last year, um, hands down. Um, watching them roll through everybody, especially when they got to the playoffs, what they did downtown Central Catholic and McDevitt. Um, now, granted, they lost people as well, as uh, everybody does, but they still have that swagger that they want to go out and kick everybody's butt, and Harrisburg had a pretty good scrimmage against them. You know, did what they needed to do to prove themselves, and I think that's going to be a big step for them and see how they handle this McDevitt squad because McDevitt has handled them pretty easily in the last couple of years. Um, you're going back to the mid-2000s when Harrisburg, you know, was competitive with them and doing what they had to do. So it's definitely you got to set the tone right now. If Harrisburg wants to get their program back, which I know Coach Everett definitely wants to do, this is a game you want to do it in. Um, this is definitely a huge game to do it in. Yeah, because they have a pretty tough slate to start out the game. Yeah. I believe they uh, start with McDevitt, and next week they play Wilson, yeah. who's a uh, District 3 runner-up. So yeah. At the uh, quad A level, then they got that. It's your and then Central Dolphins. So yeah. So the first I, it, month is yeah. a killer. So this is definitely going to be a tone setter. Yeah. And if you want to get McDevitt at any point, if you look over the last two years when McDevitt made their state title runs, look at their first four games. They were inconsistent, really didn't find themselves um, until after the fourth game, and then all of a sudden they hit their stride. When they hit their stride, it was lights out for those teams. Yeah, they lost both uh, state title games, but those guys over the last second half of the season were awesome. So if you want to get McDevitt at any point, it's typically early on, and that's definitely what Harrisburg has here. Harrisburg has a chance if they go out there and play smart, don't turn the ball over, don't make stupid penalties, don't make stupid mistakes. Definitely have a chance to at least hang with McDevitt and compete. So we will definitely – I'm looking forward to this game as well. I think this is always a great rivalry. Maybe the best rivalry in the area, going back just because of where the schools sit. And I think this is definitely going to be a big game. So it's going to be interesting. One other game, just to bring up to uh, speed, that I'm looking forward to is the Middletown Lower Dolphin game. I know everybody says, oh, wow, those two teams probably aren't the best two teams out there. But it's Friday morning, 10.30 a.m., I think it's the first game in the state. It's not Friday night. It's not Saturday. It's morning. Friday morning at 1030 at Hershey Park Stadium. Um, we got switched all around. Hershey Park got something going on, I guess, wow. at the stadium. So they actually moved that game up. So if you're around, these are two programs that definitely need to bounce back game. Um, Lower Dolphin struggled the last two years. Definitely need a, a jump start. Middletown came in with some fanfare last year. Coach Dyler coming over from Steel High, very successful coach there. Brought that in, but then losing their quarterback, Max Ward, early in that first game or second game with the ACL tear really set them back. So Middletown has definitely uh, something to prove. I know Coach Diver definitely does, always a competitor. But so does Lower Dolphin. And having it on a Friday morning where you have the whole audience out there where nobody else is playing at that time, you'll probably get a lot of people out um, to see this game. Uh, very interesting. I know I'll be there personally. I'm looking forward to seeing these two teams uh, kick off the high school football season. I think it's going to be fun and fantastic down there at Hershey Stadium. We're doing. And we'll also have uh, also a game highlights, um, you know, of course, on the program. Yes. Exclusively, exclusively here. So yes. uh, definitely make sure to, uh, you know, check out the episodes uh, on the website on uh, paswag.com or uh, exsp.biz. Uh, either way, definitely cast the highlights on the program. Okay, that will uh, conclude the first episode of The Program. Uh, make sure you check back. Uh, for further episodes, uh, we'll also be covering uh, youth football. Uh, we'll also have some interviews coming up and, again, video highlights. Uh, make sure you uh, check paswag.com uh, for, uh, you know, updated recruiting news, uh, game highlights, uh, game recaps. Uh, you can also check check out my co-host, uh, Dave Brickius, at uh, exsp.biz, Explosive Sports Performance. Yeah, I think, um, you know, make sure you definitely check back with us because we're going to be following up. Hopefully we'll be able to get some of the uh, athletes in throughout the season um, to come in and do interviews with us sitting right here so we can talk to them. And uh, make sure also if you have something that you want us to look at, um, some of your stats that maybe we missed, please send it to us. So when we do our, our recap each week, we can get you on there. 
I, our goal here really is to help kids get noticed. We like as many kids as possible to get noticed in this area, be able to get out there so these coaches um, and college can see you guys. Um, so that's really our main focus here, not only just doing it just to do it. We want these kids to have the opportunity to be seen and get their name out there so we can showcase you know, Central Pennsylvania as being, being a hotbed, not just you know your top-level guys, but some second-tier guys that maybe are under the look like we spoke of earlier to be seen now. And also, you definitely want to check back for highlights because we'll have the top ten plays yeah. uh, from the weekend's action. You know, we're, you know, we'll be out. To, we're definitely going out in several games. So, you know, look for the top ten list on the program. So, uh, again, make sure to check us out next week. That's exsp.biz. PASwag.com. And that's the program.